we are. Okay, get you to that. All right. Hey, welcome. Aloha. Thank you uh, for joining this photo reading video. Uh, we're just doing a Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. This video, we're going to jump into post viewing this book. Now, post -viewing, viewing is mostly, mainly, specifically, no, too many, uh, mainly for getting questions. Revising questions, evolving questions, and basically forming questions. Uh, of the author, what do you want to get out of this book, Think and Grow Rich? You know, it's completely up to you 100%. So we'll spend about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so trying to formulate questions. And then we'll move on, we'll come back in about a day or so, and We'll let the incubation process occur. Let all those questions really, really form inside our brain with all of that information we photo read, and we'll start to activate it in that video. Cool. So let's get started. Find out what do you want to ask this author? You know, you remember your purpose. You may want to start with the question from that, you know? See, uh, I want to know, you know, how to grow into my thought process, how to utilize. So let's see, uh, your questions are gonna be much better than mine. Let's find just basic questions. How do I use my thought process, thought process or thought thoughts uh, process to hmm what's my question that's okay how do I use my thought process to stay focused to uh, <laughs> to create success to create a enduring or long-lasting enduring success in whatever I'm doing I don't know just in uh, just in the, in a simple human sense, maybe. Uh, how do I use my thought process to encourage my own physical uh, abilities? Okay, well let's jump into the book. We don't have to dive into too much uh, creative thought right now. We can check in if there's a. Uh, you can kind of get into reading. We're not fully focused in on uh, all the uh, basics of activations like rapid reading, skittering, dipping, mind mapping and all the such. We're just trying to formulate questions. So jump into the table of contents, jump into the index, uh, just jump around into random parts into the book, maybe skip a few pages here and there, you know, 20 pages, 30 pages, you're going to start to see these patterns and you start to see these tiny little bits, thoughts that you're going to look for. Once you find those thoughts, put them into a question form for the author, ask the author what you want from the book. Don't ask me, you're okay with just asking the author formulate your questions. Those answers will come through incubating. <clears throat> now, I do want to know more about faith, if uh, if this is a big part of it. What is faith? And do it. Um, and... How does visualizing tie into it? How does visualizing tie into faith or, I don't know, I'm, uh, uh, faith uh, as far as I'm right now aware, it's just believing something unconditionally. Uh, I'm a spiritual person, but I'm not a religious person, so it's up to you how you view your faith. Obviously, I've got Ganesh right there. Very powerful uh, barrier breaker. <laughs> and uh, I've got Amala there as well. That's very, very powerful uh, voice uh, for me, at least, to enhance my voice. 
because it's not always available. Sometimes it's soft, sometimes it's stumble, sometimes it's dyslexic, sometimes it's forgetful, sometimes it's really loud. So when it's confident, that's when it's important. Now I've actually used this book to enhance this, uh, that thought, that idea. So let's continue on. Um, Auto-suggestion, uh, the medium for influencing the subconscious mind. I do want to know uh, what is that link? What is the link? There between uh, the subconscious mind and the realm we're in right now. Like the conscious state of, of where we exist all the time. You know, you just form your own questions though. You could probably be ahead in the book, moving around throughout it faster than this. See, I'll just jump a little further, quick, specialized knowledge, personal experiences, or observations. Observation's a big part of it, I know, for sure. Uh, imagination. How can I increase? My imagination. And this is a good question, in case you're a little literal person, uh, which, which is uh, something that I am. Uh, your imagination may not be in picture form at this current moment. It's more like a, it's a muscle. It's pretty weak right now. Yeah, you could definitely see the words, so that's your imagination. If you can see the words just the same as, as your imagination, you're just forming the pictures of the letters of the words. If you can do that, you can form the pictures of the image of the words. So just know it's just a muscle you're going to work on, just like uh, asking questions and getting better at asking questions. It's like uh, organized planning. Uh, obviously, this is an important step. Would love to improve my planning. What can I do to improve my organized my planning skills? How about my planning skills and organization skills and organization? Skills. How can I improve my writing fast and good quality? So decision, obviously, is a big part of it. The action, avoiding procrastination, or the master of. Yeah, I might jump into there later. A uh, power of mastermind. What is a mastermind? That's a good question. What is a mastermind? Yeah, I haven't even left the table of contents yet, but you will. Sex transmutation. That can be involved in a deeper activation process later. Uh, connect. Oh, hey, look. Chapter 12. Where is the connecting link? It, uh, it's in chapter 12. So chapter 12 has the connecting link between the subconscious mind. And it actually is the chapter. The subconscious mind, the connecting link. Maybe that's where you find it. So it looks like 16 chapters. How important is the brain in the new in this? How important is the brain to all this working? What's the brain got to do with it? Okay. Uh, door, the door to temple of wisdom. Okay, so now that might be a spiritual realm. I love that idea, like the third eye idea. Uh, how to outwit the six ghosts of fear. Uh, fear does hold you back, but no. Here's some uh, a little wisdom I've gained recently is that um, if you see fear, you just got to change your perspective lightly and you may see harmony or balance that fear and life are nearly just two sides of the same coin and if you just take a moment when you're in fear to recognize what this is trying to teach you what it's trying to show you 
might notice some sort of life lesson from that fear. So see if there's any more questions I can jump in and dive. All achievement, all earned riches have their beginning in an idea. Excellent. So move around the book in your own way. You can use a uh, quick skittering, uh, pop around the book, see if there is uh, Okay, under desire, there are six points to uh, show. Uh, a working imagination process. So page 22 uh, under desire can uh, can help with imagination. Enhancing? Yeah, sure, why not? Okay. Ah, uh, here we go. Under faith, there's a page uh, 52. Self-confidence formula. What is the self-confidence formula? How can it help me? What does it apply to faith? Now remember, if you're ever uh, just a fan of basic read word for word kind of uh, focus, which is always a beautiful way to go, you can dive into any book that way. This is a process of reading that uh, can help enhance just getting through books faster, getting to the important information sooner, and really diving into what you want to get out of an author's writings. Uh, but there's always, you know, fiction, and it's very important to dive into those worlds because again, imagination is a muscle. So dive in and imagine the story being told in front of you, word for word. The more you read, the stronger you get at reading. Okay, here's auto suggestion. So this looks like a summary of instructions. There's a, a page uh, 74. There's a summary of instructions. Uh, I want to know maybe uh, if uh, this has any connection to um, <clears throat> the process to create enduring success or that link between the subconscious mind to the conscious state uh, of our physical. So I'm, I'm kind of answering as I go, but I'm creating deeper questions too. Summary of instructions. Is this this the link between conscious and subconscious mind because that's an important thing they're they're one in the same uh they can really assist one another i know that's a powerful part of this um excellent So how to get knowledge, how to procure the knowledge that will make you successful is a great thing to understand. You know, in this day and age, we have the internet, how to get success. You get a long list of names of people. Uh, in this book, he actually has tons of uh, names of individuals, uh, Carnegie and Rockefeller and so on, but that's his time. You can definitely use uh, even greater men or women of this era, which is fantastic. And this is great. Success requires no explanation. Failure permits no alibis. I love that. I'm just going to jot this down for fun. Keep moving through, asking questions, 
at your own pace, asking your own questions, modifying, diving in deeper. This is it. This is how you can do it. Understanding what you how to fail leadership is is cool uh, to know page because then you can find you know the not to do so you can you know focus on what to do. There's ten. What are the ten? Major. I'm jotting down a lot of page numbers to go back to to answer questions in my mind, but you can move in through ask and answer questions uh, cons more concisely, deeply of um, each chapter, each each moment you flip the page. There's some, always something else you will find. What is the 10 mind stimula? Like this. And I'll just continue on to, I believe that, you know, every um, human being has genius inside of them. I mean, give us, give, give yourself a break, like what you can do in your own life. And uh, you don't see anyone else doing that same thing right then, right now. So uh, that's pretty phen phenomenal. That's awesome. So hey, here, here's a moment. A, a genius is developed through the sixth sense. Now in this, what is the sixth sense? And developing it, what does it take to develop it? I didn't expect him to bark, but that's okay. All right, continue to go through, get a couple more questions. We'll kind of open up and release this. Looks like, hey, telepathy. What is telepathy is a good question. I'm sure you've heard of it, probably a fascinating thing. Uh, I know it's a fantastic idea, but it's a possible idea. So I uh, definitely concur on that. And at the end, there's those questions I mentioned earlier. 55 famous alibis. Whoa. I'll take a gander at that at the end, but these are things that we might tell ourselves to get out of success. So, excellent. So don't be afraid to overcome yourself and dive into even the index if there's something more you want to know. Oh, here we go, link with infinite intelligence. That's probably similar to the subconscious. So where's the link? Let's go to 247 to eight is the link. Cool. Um, and obviously you can create more concise, better worded questions. Edgar Allan Poe. Hey, what's poetry got to do with it? And this is going to be my last question. You can keep going as long as you want. And as we grow into it, I'm sure our when we mind map and activate, we're going to add on more questions and try to find more answers. We don't want to extend that other video too much. Um, of course, you can do work with any book for as long as you want and pick apart and really retain this information. This information is going to be with you for a long time because of how you are wiring it into your brain. So I do appreciate you. Thank you for watching this video on photo reading Think and Grow Rich by Napoleon Hill. Uh, these questions and many more you can add on to this list your list can be as long as you want these questions now that you put them into effect 
are starting to rewire your brain. And as they do, this is known as the incubation process. Answers are going to start to formulate. You get to see, you saw that as I was asking questions, answers started to come up to further deepen those questions. So that's how this works. Play around with it. Have fun with it. Go easy on yourself because frustration is different than confusion. Okay. We're going to get through this together. If you don't have your photo reading online course, I definitely recommend getting it because it's what gave me the confidence of getting to this point. Now I'm just showing you how to do it through doing it. And you got to show yourself how to do it through doing it. So I'll see you in the next video and activating. Have fun reading my friends. Have a great day. Bye. Guys, I got to get another cup of coffee.